Hey, what's going on guys? The Horror Man back with the next review of the Terror in the Isles Challenge. And this time, Jason and I watched Sisters. I saw a murder, and I'm going to prove it. Sisters is a 1972 horror film, written and directed by Brian De Palma, and it's featured in Terror in the Isles. Sisters was also included on Fangoria's list of the 101 best horror movies you've never seen. Because of that, Jason and I watched and reviewed this movie previously for the Fangoria Challenge. But since scenes from the movie are also featured in Terror in the Isles, we watched it again, and we're reviewing it again. I'll link that Fangoria review on the end screen of this one, so whatever I miss in this video, you'll catch in that video. Margot Kidder plays a French model and actress named Danielle. She is currently going through a divorce with her husband, Emile, played by the late William Finley. He played the Phantom, Winslow Leach, in Brian De Palma's Phantom of the Paradise, which we previously reviewed for this challenge. And he appeared in The Fun House, so he's popping up a lot in Terror in the Isles. Danielle meets a fellow contestant on a game show, and the two spend the night together. Emile follows them on their date, and Danielle claims he constantly follows her. When they are able to get away from Emile, they go to Danielle's apartment. We get some nudity from Margot Kidder, and I'm sure you can imagine what the two do next. Each other, obviously. The next morning, the man wakes up to hear Danielle talking to her sister, Dominique. Dominique sounds furious that Danielle spent the night with this man. Danielle later explains to him that Dominique is her twin, and she's very possessive. Dominique is currently staying at a hospital, but was able to visit Danielle because today is their birthday. Danielle then asks her new friend to go pick up a prescription for her at the drugstore. The guy is super nice, so he agrees to do so, and even picks up a birthday cake on the way back. Unfortunately, when he returns, he is stabbed to death by Dominique. Trust me, that was not a spoiler. That happens early on in the film, and everything that follows is because of it. In an apartment across the street, a reporter named Grace lives, and she witnesses the whole thing. She watches the man write help in his blood on the window. She calls the cops, but... By the time they get there, the body has been hidden with assistance from Emile. Danielle has no idea what has happened, but she doesn't want her sister to get in trouble. Knowing what she witnessed, Grace tries to convince the police, but they have no evidence of wrongdoing. They don't even have a body, which means they don't have a murder. And so Grace decides to investigate herself and turns to a private investigator, played by Charles Durning. As Grace digs deeper into the case, her life will be changed forever. I've said it before, and I'll continue to say it again. Brian De Palma is a cinematic genius. I know Hitchcock is the master of suspense, but De Palma comes pretty damn close to that label. I guess he could be considered the living master of suspense. His camera work and the use of split screens is just phenomenal. When else do you get to watch two scenes taking place at the exact same time? It makes me wonder why more directors don't incorporate this method. The late Margot Kidder was great in this role, as was the late William Finley. Jennifer Salt as Grace is fantastic as well. You can feel her anxiety. This movie makes you question your own sanity while she questions hers. What's reality? What is imagination? What really happens and what's a fabrication? And that damn couch, that damn, damn couch. I love the final shot of the film and I love that there are no end credits. The movie just ends. There's a reason for that, but I'm sure you can figure it out when you watch Sisters. There is plenty more I could say about this film, because it's brilliance, but this is now my second review of it. 
So again, I will link my first review on the end screen of this one. Hopefully between the two of them, I've covered everything I want to say. Last time I recommended Brian De Palma's Body Double, which is probably the most fitting relatable recommendation for sisters. But this time I'm recommending Obsession. I just didn't want to recommend the same movie twice. And Obsession is an amazing De Palma film. But aren't they all? This one is about a man who meets and falls in love with a woman who bears a striking resemblance to his dead wife. As you can deduce from the title, it becomes an obsession for him. Check out Obsession if you haven't already. This here is my VHS copy. And this, by the way, is the Criterion Collection DVD release of Sisters. Have you seen it? If so, what do you think of it? Comment below and let me know. And please be sure to check out Jason's review. We saw a movie and we're going to review it soon in the Terror in the Isles Challenge. Until then, thanks for watching, guys. Hit that thumbs up and be kind, subscribe.